I believe that most people would be better off if we had better bullshit detectors and we just realize that there's no rules for riches. There's no way that you can all of a sudden become spectacular overnight or that they have unbelievable performance compared to everybody else. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to call bullshit on almost all of that stuff unless you physically show me that there is some real productivity gains. You, sh you physically show me that there is some sort of benefit by doing some particular actions. I'm going to call bullshit all the time. I think much of this world is very much focused on the bullshit and focused on everything else that's going on rather than looking at if people are actually putting in the work, if there's actually work being done. And if we sat down and looked at how process actually happened and what truly was going on in the background, you realize almost all of it is complete bullshit when you look at productivity metrics and all of that kind of stuff. I want to talk about that today. So if you don't know me, I'm Professor Dave Maslach. I am an associate professor of innovation strategy and entrepreneurship, and I created this whole reciprocity project to give back as much as I possibly can. It started out as a platform where I was trying to help writing because you know what? I was falling for the bullshit out there that everybody was writing better than me, that everybody was so much more productive than me. So I thought, hey, I'm gonna build this platform to help me write and maybe help other people write at the same time. But what I realized now that I've been in the game, sort of two things that are happening. The first thing is, is man, people are full of bullshit. When they're telling you that they're so much more productive or their metrics, however you might measure that. You might think about YouTube, for example. You see people explode overnight. What you don't realize is that there is a ton of luck involved with that. What you don't realize is that they might have resources that you don't have privilege to that you're not going to see and they're never going to disclose. Any of these kind of things, you go to the gym and all of a sudden somebody is spectacularly bigger by going to the gym for a couple of months. I'm going to call bullshit every time. I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I'm just at that point right now where I look around and I know what real effort actually is. I see people putting in the real effort and it's a slow, tedious, one little thing at a time. It's a... It's a half a percent gain every week in whatever thing that you're con committing yourself to. And yes, after 30 years of doing something or after 20 years of doing something, you're going to be far better than what you started at. But anybody that starts out early and explodes and, you know, they become, they go to the gym for four months and all of a sudden they're giant. I'm going to call bullshit every single time and we really need to start focusing on this and looking at really what is going on not necessarily what the outcomes are which our culture is so focused on particularly and i'm gonna point out american culture is particularly focused on the external metrics and in the perception of success whether it's a bigger house whether it is a fancier car, it doesn't matter. Whether it's having bigger muscles, it's all the same thing. Looking prettier, all of a sudden you got boobs, for example. You know, all of those things, I'm gonna call bullshit all the time. I'm gonna say, show me real people, real authentic people that are doing good things. And I'll show you somebody that is actually doing the things that they should be doing. We're so caught up and all of this kind of stuff of, of performing and showing to other people that we're better than them. And we forget that, hey, you know what? Much of this stuff is bullshit. It is. You look at sort of performance at work. How did somebody become so much more productive, quote unquote, productive than you? They have better sales in academia. They have better publications and more publications. I'm going to say bullshit to all of it. I'm, I'm honestly, you know, I'm at the point where I realize that there's far more other things that are going on behind the scenes and you have to look at that, that stuff. I want you to actually spend some time with people that actually quote unquote appear 
that they have it all together and see what they're doing, you realize that most of the stuff is the exact same thing that you're doing, except for they have some hidden secret that they don't disclose or they don't openly talk about it that much. It doesn't matter what that is. I'm not gonna say what these things are, but you know what those things are. We need to be a little bit more atoned to that and, and paying attention to that. I want you to think about what the averages are, an average population are, um, in any particular field. And once you think about these averages, you realize that, wait a minute, the rest of it, the sort of extraordinary performance and all that kind of stuff, this is stuff that we study in strategy. You gotta be calling a lot of BS on it. You really need to be calling it. You need to think like, that's not possible. That's not true. That is far outside of the norm. You gotta be careful. And if you look at it, and you look at the top performing companies in this in the world, right? The S&P 500 index fund um, or index firms. Uh, the, the top 500 firms in the world only grows at 10% per year. Now, do you think that there's going to be the extraordinary moments where a company or a person even, their performance is going to be more than that every single year come on like really think about this that is not possible right on average the top performing firms are growing at 10 percent per year so what does that mean this year your whatever it is you're measuring is is that one in seven years it's going to double in 14 years it's going to be at four um 400 percent now that's spectacular growth that is amazing but that's 14 years and you're going to be at this 400% growth of where you were. Do you think everything works like that? No, we've got different processes and all this kind of stuff. But have that in mind of what the real stuff actually looks like. It's about the best indication of what real stuff actually looks like is, is the S&P 500 index. But, you know, there's lots of things that are like this. If something changes overnight, if it looks like somebody put in hard rigorous brutal work for seven years and they got at they doubled their their whatever it is doubled their beauty doubled their um you know their strength yeah okay i believe it i believe it but to think that that is going to happen in in one year in six months i mean you gotta call bullshit seriously call bullshit every time